The Western countries have always influenced Africa and its politics. But can they go as far as killing leaders just because they refuse to follow Western orders? Sadly, the West, which claims to stay out of other nations' affairs, has gone beyond our expectations by eliminating such leaders. Those who stood against the West and spoke out for change were permanently silenced. Some were shot, some died in mysterious accidents, and some were abducted and mysteriously killed by rebels. There's a list of eight leaders who lost their lives for standing up for Africans. But why don't you know about them? Is the West still trying to hide what they did? Let's find out. Number 8. Rafiq Hariri Standing against the West was a crime, and Rafiq Hariri is one of the leaders who paid the price for committing this crime. Hariri, the former Prime Minister of Lebanon, experienced a politically charged assassination. In 2005, Hariri fell victim to a massive bombing in Beirut, marking a tragic turn in the region's politics. The international community condemned the assassination, but it was too late. This incident played a key role in reshaping the dynamics of the Middle East. While direct evidence linking Western powers to Hariri's assassination is lacking, the experts still keep accusing West of the incident. The opposition to Syrian influence in Lebanon was a notable factor, with the aftermath of the assassination prompting the withdrawal of Syrian troops from the country. The geopolitical complexities of the Middle East, particularly the involvement of Western interests, came to the forefront as the incident unfolded. Rafiq Hariri's assassination showcased how external interests could influence and even determine the fate of political leaders in the Middle East. Number 7. Thomas Sankara Thomas Sankara, the charismatic and revolutionary leader of Burkina Faso, left an indelible mark on African politics with his bold challenges to Western economic interests. Sankara's leadership was defined by his commitment to socialist policies and a genuine belief in the importance of self-reliance for his nation. However, in 1987, Sankara's ambitious vision for social and economic transformation was abruptly cut short when he fell victim to an internal coup, motivated by some external forces. His close associate, Blaise Compaore, orchestrated the coup that led to Sankara's demise. Sankara's assassination silenced a passionate advocate for change. And that, according to many, was what the West wanted at that time. Number 6. Muammar Gaddafi, Muammar Gaddafi, the long-standing ruler of Libya, experienced a fierce downfall because of both external conflicts and internal dissent. Gaddafi's confrontations with the West, particularly during the Arab Spring in 2011, escalated tensions and ultimately led to NATO intervention in Libya. The international community intervened in response to the government's brutal crackdown on protesters and the threat it posed to civilians. This intervention marked a significant turning point in Gaddafi's regime and initiated a series of events that would shape the fate of Libya. The Arab Spring, a series of pro-democracy uprisings across the Arab world, created an environment of discontent and unrest within Libya. Gaddafi's authoritarian rule faced challenges as citizens demanded political reforms and greater freedoms. The government's harsh response to these demands further fueled the discontent leading to widespread protests and an increasingly volatile situation. As the internal strife intensified, Gaddafi's grip on power weakened it, setting the stage for external intervention. NATO's involvement in Libya was a decisive moment in the conflict. The alliance aimed to protect civilians from Gaddafi's forces and prevent further atrocities. The military intervention, however, ultimately led to Gaddafi's capture and subsequent execution by rebel forces. It was the external power's job to ensure he stayed protected from the rebels. But according to some analysts, everything was planned. His demise marked the end of a four-decade-long rule characterized by autocracy and a strong anti-Western stance. While the intervention achieved its immediate objective, it also left Libya in political chaos, with various factions vying for control. Gaddafi's death in 2011 not only signaled the end of an era but also plunged Libya into a prolonged period of political unrest. The vacuum left by his absence resulted in a power struggle among competing factions, leading to ongoing instability and conflict. Number 5. Amilcar Cabral Amilcar Cabral, a visionary leader and revolutionary figure, played a key role in the liberation movements against Portuguese colonial rule in Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde. Born in 1924, Cabral dedicated his life to the cause of independence, advocating for the rights and autonomy of his people. 
As the founder and leader of the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde PAIGC, Cabral directed a resistance against the oppressive colonial forces. Tragically, Cabral's unwavering commitment to freedom and self-determination was cut short when he was assassinated in 1973 by militants from his party just before witnessing the realization of the independence he had fervently fought for. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. His assassination had many strings attached to the West, as he always stood against them. His untimely death served as a reminder of the complex and wild nature of post-colonial power struggles. The void left by Cabral's absence posed challenges for the newly liberated nations, balancing the delicate transition from colonial domination to self-governance. Number 4. Silvanus Olympio Silvanus Olympio, a key figure in Togo's history, met a tragic end due to his steadfast resistance to Western economic influences. In 1963, Olympio's principled stance against external pressures culminated in a coup that led to his assassination, casting a dark shadow over the political world of Togo for decades to come. Olympio's commitment to shielding Togo from the grip of Western economic interests made him a target for those who sought to maintain regional influence. The coup not only claimed the life of a visionary leader, but also triggered enduring political instability in Togo. The aftermath of Olympio's assassination rolled through the nation's governance, fostering a climate of uncertainty and unrest. Number 3. Samora Michel Samora Michel, Mozambique's inaugural president, met a tragic end in 1986 when his plane crashed near the South African border. Michel was committed to the country's development and social progress as the first leader of independent Mozambique. The circumstances surrounding his untimely death remain shrouded in mystery with suspicions of South African apartheid government involvement casting a long shadow over the incident. The plane crash, while officially deemed an accident, has fueled speculation and allegations of foul play. Given Machel's outspoken stance against apartheid and his support for anti-apartheid movements, the possibility of external interference in his demise has been a subject of ongoing inquiry. The lack of conclusive evidence has only added to the complexity and conspiracy surrounding Machel's tragic end. Michelle's legacy persists as a symbol of Mozambique's struggle for independence and the challenges faced by leaders advocating for social justice in a turbulent geopolitical time. Number 2. Andre Matsangaisa Andre Matsangaisa, a key figure in the Mozambican resistance against Portuguese colonial rule, met a tragic end when he was assassinated in 1969. As a relentless advocate for Mozambican independence, Matsangaisa played a crucial role in the fight against colonial oppression. His untimely death, however, remains clouded in suspicion and controversy, with some reports suggesting the involvement of Western intelligence services due to his anti-colonial activities. The circumstances surrounding Matsangaisa's assassination highlight the complex dynamics of the struggle for independence in Mozambique and the lengths to which colonial powers were willing to go to suppress resistance movements. The alleged connection to Western intelligence services raises questions about the extent of external interference in the internal affairs of nations striving for self-determination. Number 1. Patrice Lumumba Patrice Lumumba, the inaugural democratically elected Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, embarked on a journey marked by opposition from Western powers. Lumumba's steadfast anti-colonial stance made him a target for those who sought to maintain their influence in the resource-rich region. In 1960, his political ascent was abruptly halted when he was arrested, setting the stage for a series of tragic events that would seal his fate. The circumstances surrounding Lumumba's assassination in 1961 remain shrouded in controversy, with allegations of involvement by the United States and Belgium casting a dark shadow over the incident. This untimely demise extinguished Lumumba's aspirations and severely affected his vision for a sovereign and united Congo. Do you think the West can ever wash the blood of these leaders off of their hands? After knowing this, do you think the West can be trusted? Are they still involved in African politics as they were? Let us know in the comment section if you think Africa should, at any cost, let the West take control of Africa again. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, 
subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.